Amanda, you can't be out here. Would you want to be all alone at a time like this? We had 30 seconds of interaction before he saved my life, and, and it wasn't even nice. I was standing on a corner when this ordinary looking guy stands next to me and smiles and and I'm so busy scoping for someone hotter that I don't even give him a second look the next thing I know he throws me out of the way of a bus I'm about to walk in front of and almost get himself killed he literally he swept me off my feet but I'm sure you're your way. He told me he was enlisting. I had sent him home, told him to spend the day with his mom since he was leaving so soon. He took off this morning. You can't be in here. I'll come and get you in the waiting room. I'll hold his hand until you put him under. It really does make him feel better. Is he? Yay! You're just scared to do I go This back and forth is just fear. I go you already made the decision. Until you made it. You made it the second you decided to fight this. Side, your hand in mine. You started. Look where you are now. And I George was a surgeon. He had a purpose. He wanted to save lives, and now he doesn't get the chance. Now he doesn't get the chance to do anything anymore, but you do. You could go to medical school, you know? You could hang out with your freaking friends. I don't care what you do. Just go do something with your life, because you have one. You lived. You lived, and George didn't. And I know I... I know 
that that feels horrible and shocking and terrifying. But you lived. So go live your freaking life. I, I don't know how. Nobody does. Nobody knows how. God, have enough respect for George to figure it out. Because if I see you sitting on this bench ever again, I will kick your ass from here to Sunday. <laughs>